It is January the 16th, 2015. I was asked a question not too long ago about measuring the power supply ripple. And uh, while I've attempted to do these kind of things off and on many times, I never thought about doing it formally. Well, I searched the internet and I found some, but uh, the best one I found, simplest, is right here out of this audio cyclopedia by Howard M. Tremaine. I've used this book a lot of times. Here's his method for measuring it. Here's the power supply. He's got a current meter across here, which we don't need. He's got a voltmeter, which we will measure the voltage. And then he's got his, uh, what he's going to measure the AC ripple in. He's just using a voltmeter with a capacitor in series with it to remove the DC component. Pretty simple, huh? That's it. That's uh, I found one on the internet that was very much like this, but it was they made it really complicated. And then you determine if you want it in decibels, it's 20 times the log of the voltage ratio. See the DC voltage divided by the AC voltage, this RMS voltage right here at AC. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use the uh, Dynaco Mark III. Uh, this amplifier under static conditions as it's just sitting there draws uh, 140 milliamps that's what the output tubes draw and that's pretty much all of the current because the, the driver tubes draw very little more and uh, when I drive it uh, all the way up to 50 plus watts by, uh, by ejecting a signal you know I, I put the signal into it here and, and drove it up to that's not the power now it's not being driven now well, I can well, I'll show you what I drive it up to. There you go. There's the 50 watts. 51 watts. There's its THD. That's what I'm driving it at. And then I, there's uh, his signal output. It's clipping a tiny bit. Not bad. Actually doing quite well. But I can't measure it while I'm driving it with a signal because I get the AC component of the signal. So I just attenuate this thing down. I'll actually even unplug it. So what I have to do is I have to um, come up with another load because it wants to draw 203, 223 milliamps under full load instead of 140. So I need an extra 83 milliamps, which would be about a 5400 ohm load. So I've got a 4500 ohm here in series with a 1K here. So I'm going to connect that across the power supply to load it as if it were running in uh, full uh, driven conditions. There's its voltage uh, in its idle condition and I gotta be careful here when I connect this guy up see the sparks and all. See it loads it down to a little above 450, 459. I'm gonna, I have to re have to remove this thing because these resistors, this one can probably take it this little guy right here is going to... No, it's not too hot yet. Probably get too hot. Anyway, that's going to be the measurement system. We'll make the measurements and we'll do the calculations. And I think you'll see they, they turn out pretty much like what he predicts. I've got to put this thing back on the tripod and get set up here. Okay, we're all set up here. Here's the uh, voltmeter. Let's see. This thing will stand up. There you go. We're measuring um, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, jumping around a little bit. See, I've got it run through this capacitor right here. I can't really touch it. Um, the meter is in AC. The meter lead is going to the capacitor, and then the other side of the capacitor is actually going over the power supply which I think you can see. Now when I hook this one up, I'm going to put the extra load on it. You'll even see some a little bit of fire there. Not too much. Okay, and there's our real measurement. Here's, here's what we're looking for. Kind of jumps around, doesn't it? Not quite sure why. But I think we're going to have to call out about 0.5. Let's call it 0.5. And then that 
Okay, then we'll lay that down there very carefully. Okay, now that we've gotten rid of that, <clears throat> we're not dead yet. <laughs> uh, this is coming right out of the choke. So we'll put this as 0 0.5. When we do that math, we end up uh, getting uh, 459. That's the latest measurement I made over 0.5. Divide that. Take the log of it. We've been doing a lot of this log stuff huh, lately, haven't we? Uh, multiply that times 20. 59 dB. That's just for the sake of uh, rounding it off. Call it 60 dB. 60 dB. That's the uh, that's the ripple voltage at that point, and it's right out of the power supply now. If we measure it at a different point, and I'm going to do that, if we measure it after it goes through the first dropping resistor, where it supplies the voltage to uh, the 12AU7, 6AN8, whatever the heck you're driving, if we put it over here and we load that side and we measure it, no, 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 that's not right. I got to load it on this side, but I've got to move my probe. Uh, well, I got to do some rewiring here. Let me stop the camera and rewire it. Okay, we're back. Still alive. I had to put the load on the same side, but I put what I'm measuring on the other side of of this. Uh, I think you can see it here in the corner. This uh, 6800 ohm resistor, which is part of the power supply. This is the side that that supplies the voltage to the. Uh, like I say to the driver stage. See now it's much, much lower. Look at that. 0 .00. zero. Maybe I got some bad connections here. So what are we gonna call that? What would that round out to be? Maybe 0 .0, 0 0.02. Let's call it 0 0.02. So now we've got uh, now we've got uh, 459. Nope, that's not right either. We've got to measure the voltage at that point. Uh, the voltage at that point. And DC is going to be this much. Got to do a different ratio here. 379. 380. Let's call it 380 to 0.2. 380.02 rather divide take the log of that multiply that times 20 85 dB which is about what the uh, the uh, book predicts and we have 85 dB 85 dB 380 over 0.02 That's our second calculation right there. About 380 or 0 0.02, which is giving us an 85 dB. Our ripple is 85 dB below our DC voltage after it goes through the first voltage dropper, dropping resistor, and this be the third capacitor. This is right out of, comes out of the diodes. It goes through the to, through the choke. That's that's just point right here. And there's a capacitor on each side of the choke to ground. You know. It's a pie filter. So there you go. That's the way the book says it. And uh, that's what it predicts it should be. 80, so d 80 or so dB. So even according to them, that's how you do it. And uh, that's uh, about what we should expect it to turn out to be. So if you're going to do this, you got to be darn careful. I did make sure I took both of my rings off here. Got to be careful. Don't get electrocuted. Have fun.